This is good for your soul. Listen to this. Built a chess engine in CPP just because I was interested in that. Was considering doing that versus doing web dev project because they're more hireable. But kept hearing you say, do the project you'll actually come back to. And that one got me hired. This is so important. Okay. I'm just letting you know, building yet another to-do app in web because you want to say that you know how to use React or Svelte, or Redux, or some stupid web technology that's not hard to learn, and you want to show that you know it, and so you're going to build some really cheap, boring project because it doesn't interest you, but you just want to get it crossed off, or build something that interests you, and then actually have something that's useful to talk about, something that actually has some sort of value to it. Do it, because nobody wants to be a part of that dumb interview where they're just like, hey, what you build? Tell me about yourself. I built Redux and React to-do app, and then after to-do app, I built the clock app, and then after the clock app, I built the suggested upgrades to the to-do app, and then after reading several tutorials, I also built a website that looks like a marketing website. It has a login from Clark. And you're just like, cool. I love your, pom- I love your, your, your Pomodoro app, but I don't care. Did you build anything? Tell me about you. What makes you exciting? And then you got this guy coming here, and this guy's like, oh, yeah, I was interested, so I built a chess app in CPP. Oh, have you ever done C++? No, I've never done C++. Okay, so let me get this straight. You learned C++, and you built an app in it, and it's pretty successful? Yeah. Okay, so you can learn pretty much anything. Cool. Hey, get on. Let's use you, because you're act- you're, you, you actually will try to do something. Yep, that's exactly it. I know, because you know what? In the end, being a plumber is not hard. Sticking some things together is not hard, okay? Building, the like, like learning a language that's difficult by nature and then building your own engine. Yeah, they're super impressed by me learning C++ and making the chess engine on my own project. And there you go. That's it. I keep telling you, build the thing that you're interested in. Okay, the thing that's going to make you excited, the thing that's actually complicated, the thing that actually requires like you to go off into the deep end and not be really sure what to do next, right? You actually have to like overcome that feeling of that chasm, right? Have you ever seen the chasm? The chasm exists and it's very terrifying. So what is the programming chasm? There exists this in a lot of projects, and this is how you know you're building a project that you're actually learning. You'll be standing on one side of it, and you will understand on the other side is what you want to actually build. But you are genuinely confused by how to get across this chasm. You may know certain things, but not everything. This often would be something to do with like game programming or actually building a website that has some level of technical detail to it, such as like a diff site for code, right? Like that actually would require a little bit of effort. You'd have to learn a diffing algorithm, how to display the diffing algorithm, right? There's a lot more to it than just simply, again, hooking up a couple of these serverless components and calling it a day. And this gap right here, you got to fill. You got to learn how to get across because once you learn some techniques, it becomes easier. Like, here's a good example. When we are starting off this little uh, video game, this create, this this whole video game that I'm creating to do a tower defense, my chasm was that I didn't really understand Zig. And... I knew how to I knew generally what I wanted to do to make the game. I never really made games though, so I didn't really know what I was doing. And so this chasm felt huge when I first started out because I was like, I don't even know what to do. I don't know how to do this. I don't know the Zig language. I don't really know how to build and I, I have no idea how to even shape a game because I've never done it in my lifetime. So instead, I was like, okay, what's one thing that I know how to do? Well, that's why if you look at the code. And you go to the canvas, you'll notice that if I go like this, get blame, you'll notice that this is the earliest of the code because this is the first thing that I built. I know how to build. I I bet you I could build something that displays ASCII in the window, okay, right? That that even does coloring and stuff. I could do that, right? Because that can't be that hard. I could do that. And so I built that. And when I built that, I was like, okay, I've built that. That wasn't that hard. Okay, good. You know what? I now know how I want to display towers. Okay, so I could I could build the code just to display towers, right? And also to display the creeps. Yeah, we could do that and display the bullets and all that. Okay, cool. I built that. You know what? Now that I have all these towers, I bet you I could pl- I could create the algorithm to place towers. Okay, I can do that now, right? Like you actually start building it out and you just latch onto one thing you know how to do. You don't have to solve the whole ass gap. 
You just have to do that. And then all of a sudden, as you start going, this gap becomes easier and becomes more and more filled in because guess what? My knowledge of Zig, way, way up. I feel so much more confident with Zig. My idea of how to kind of build that game engine, way, way up because at least I've done it. I've done it once, right? So this makes me feel pretty happy about it. Now I actually have like an idea in my head. And so all when you put all these things together, all of a sudden that gap starts going away. And so I always just pick when I don't know what to do, I just pick one thing that's small that I just know how to build. Because if I can just do that one small thing, then the rest becomes progressively easier to fill in. I wanted to say that because I wanted you guys to understand some important concept, which is that I think often if you're in my streams, it looks like I know what I'm doing all the time. When I'm building, I'm moving fast and I'm able to build a lot of, you know, I, I'm able to, in, in just a, a good five hour period while talking to chat, I'm producing, you know, 500 to 1500 lines of code and I, 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 we're making real progress. And it feels like I don't have much skill issues, but I'll tell you this much: when I'm when I was building this uh, when I was building this this game, I genuinely felt really lost right here, right? Like I genuinely felt like I I was like, man, I really don't know what I'm doing. I was really having a hard time with Zig. I was really having a hard time with just like how to build, uh, like like the, the general shape of a of a game engine at all because I've never done it before. And so that's why I did this, and this is why I wanted you guys to, to kind of hear this part, which is that. I too, when I'm doing something that I don't know, it's not like I'm sitting there going, oh, I know all the answers. I have to go, okay, let's just try to, what can I build that I know how? And once I built this little rendering thing, well, then I could make a for loop, right? I could do an update, render, update, render. Okay, I get that. Okay, then it's input, update, render. Okay, I could do that. Well, I'm gonna build a simulation now. Input, update, render, validate. Okay, I could do this. And then it's just me running over and over and over and over, you know, just like discovering how to do this. And now is my game engine good? I don't know. I'm going to have, I, I'll get Casey Moratori to come over and do a code review and he will tell me how good was my first game. And he'll let me know what, what he thinks about it. So there you go. Like this is, this is what I consider a great way to do things. And hopefully everyone sees this and hopefully this makes sense. And I really do hope that everybody takes a really great lesson from Yummy, wherever that man went. Where, where did Yummy go? I know. Anyways, doesn't really matter. Uh, wherever that guy get, went, that build something that is actually going to be complicated and actually has some level of interest for you. So you actually want to come back. That It actually makes you want to keep building this thing that's more complicated because at the end of the day, building the same thing that everybody else builds with absolutely no depth or reason why you did it other than you did it to get a job is the least interesting interview of all time. You know what's really cool? Opening up someone's resume and they're like, oh yeah, I did signal processing to make this music thing, da 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 embedded, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, ah, oh, this person's a hacker, right? This person wants to get in there and build something. Okay, let's talk to, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk to this person. You know why? Because this person actually is interesting. Oh, I've built to-do app. Not interesting, right? It's just not. Nothing about it is interesting. I don't really want to talk to you. I don't want to hear about how you used Redux Saga to make an even greater to-do app and that your Pomodoro timing and your to-do app have been merged together. Boring, okay? Boring. Snooze fest. I built a to-do app in assembly. At least this is somewhat interesting. At least you can say the word assembly. Minimally, you can at least say the word assembly which is interesting enough anyways i appreciate all of you <laughs> <Just fucking. laughs>